And my dad used to knock my mum about. There was many times when, like, it got like that. He never touched me. I don't know why he didn't. And, you know, sometimes you'd fucking, you'd want the crack instead of having to witness it. He used to kill Noel. Noel was the one that got it the most. I remember Noel once saying, if you don't get out of here, ma'am, and leave him, he says, I'm going to kill him. And I thought, oh, Jesus, you can't be doing time for the likes of him. Yeah, my dad used to be living daylights out of me. I've never felt compelled to either talk about it or write about it. I know that I think it's no one else's business. You can't let that kind of thing affect you in any way because then you're carrying that weight all the way through life. He always thought you'd never leave him because you'd know where to go to. You'll never leave me. Yes, it won't I? Try it. One night, we got the courage to get out and I left him a knife and a fork and a spoon and I think I left him too much. Well, he never once come after us. One day. It's a sense of, see you later, we're free. It definitely affected them, because they got very bitter. I wouldn't say I was scarred, but everybody's childhood makes them what they are. You can't think about it too deeply, because it would fucking drive you mad. I think it benefited me in the way that it made me withdraw into my own world, and from that came the learning to play the guitar. I guess in some way, my old fella beat the talent into me.